Hi folks, this is all the fruit and today I want to taste some acorns of the cork oak. Acorns have been, I would say, one of the most important plant foods in, at least in temperate areas of the northern hemisphere for thousands of years. Most people are not aware of that. They are not aware of how important <coughs> oaks were not only culturally, not only as timber, but as a food source. Especially before agriculture became widespread in temperate areas, people would eat the acorns directly. Yeah, you had to remove the bitterness and the toxicity with uh, leaching out the acorns and, and heating them, but it was worth it because they had a lot of nice edible flesh inside or what shall I say seeds inside and they grew everywhere and they were very abundant. In later millennia where people already had agriculture and grains and stuff not so many people would eat them except as a famine food in Europe but they were still incredibly important as food as food for the pigs as a wonderful tasty caloric food for the pigs and so basically the most important use of ancient forest well, of uh, let's say medieval forests in central Europe was the use for the pigs you would drive your pigs into the forest so they could get fed on the acorns and this was much more important than all this timber and other strange stuff you could get from the forest and nowadays, still in some areas of Spain, very high quality pork is being produced that way. They send the pigs into the forest in autumn to get fed on acorns. In North America, of course, people ate acorns much longer than in Europe uh, because agriculture was not so widespread in the eastern US before the arrival of white people. They had agriculture, but they also ate a lot of acorns. And in modern times, the French cultivated a couple edible tasty acorn varieties which <coughs> supposedly taste like chestnuts so I want to taste as many acorns as possible <coughs> and let's start with this incredibly nice cork oak this must be one of the biggest specimens in all of Germany look at this at the base at the base it's maybe 80 centimeters but the biggest the biggest stem is maybe what is it 45 almost 50 well what is cork oak good for of course you can fatten your pigs on the acorns but mostly it produces cork it's the main producer of the material cork in the world which for millennia was the best way to to close a bottle nowadays there are other ways of um, closing wine bottles so that the cork oaks are becoming more, uh, more and more rare, even throughout the Mediterranean. But you can still find a lot of cork oak forests. This is a nice mature specimen, which if you were in the Mediterranean, would already have been peeled. There are people who peel away the bark and then make it into corks or soles of shoes or a lot of other mostly ornamental stuff. Well, what is the stick bark good for? Of course, it protects the oak from fire that's the most important um, feature but it also protects it from the hot mediterranean sun and also now from the german cold yeah i wanted to make this video somewhere in a mediterranean cork oak grove but they are not so common because cork oak grows on, on acidic soil it doesn't grow on limestone and in the mediterranean a lot of the soils are limestone big cork groves they, they are mostly in in north africa in uh, morocco also in spain and portugal and on the italian islands of sardinia yeah but fortunately i found one here in germany well let's look for the acorns they are not ripe but i still want to taste them I don't expect them to be very tasty, they will be bitter, the question is how bitter? Because if you try enough acorns, you might stumble upon something which is 
not too bitter and actually edible. Okay, I removed the I removed the cap here once more. What they look like with the cap on? The cap is quite well. It has those soft spine-like things, which are not spiny at all. So now let's try the aircon. Quite small. There are also very few pollinated ones here. I think because there are not enough partners for pollination. Well, it is bitter, but to the bitterness, phew, 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 phew. through the bitterness, I can basically taste it. Tastes like a chestnut with added bitterness. So, you can imagine, chestnuts were not too rare in cooler areas of Europe. Chestnut is more a tree of Mediterranean mountains, not so much of Central Europe. In most areas of Europe, chestnuts were not present, but oaks were. And actually, for many centuries throughout Central Europe and many other parts, they were so valuable that they were, that they were sown low. so basically people would collect a, a bag full of acorns and sow them into some place for example into a beech forest into or into a maple forest because they considered an oak forest to be more valuable because you could use the acorns for food by uh, sending them through a through a pick and using the pork for food so folks the Acorns of the cork oak, yeah, quite interesting, not as bitter as some other acorns. Basically tastes like chestnuts with added bitterness. And since there are ways to remove the bitterness, this is quite interesting. I didn't find anything on the acorns being used for, for human food, the, the acorns of the cork oak being used for human food. But I'm sure you can use them like most other ones. And I'm planning to go into some botanic gardens and stuff my face with many different acorns in order to find out if I can find some which are not too bitter. So folks, this was an impressive specimen of Quercus subar, the cork oak, growing in Germany. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful parks and gardens of Germany and expect many more oak and acorn videos and of course don't forget to like share comment and subscribe